On July 1, 2025, astronomers working with NASA's Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile noticed something unusual, a faint object moving through space. But this wasn't just any asteroid or comet. Initial calculations revealed something shocking. This object was moving way too fast to have originated from our solar system. Within hours, observatories around the world turned their instruments toward this mysterious visitor, and what they found sent ripples through the astronomical community. This object, now officially designated 3I slash ATLAS, where 3I stands for Third Interstellar, was confirmed to be a comet from another star system, traveling through our cosmic backyard at the fastest speed ever recorded for any solar system visitor. Think about that for a moment. This chunk of ice and rock has been drifting through the cold darkness of interstellar space for potentially billions of years. And now, through an incredible cosmic coincidence, it's passing through our solar system at this exact moment in human history when we have the technology to observe it. The odds of this are astronomical, literally. Let me take you back to how this all unfolded because the discovery story itself is absolutely fascinating. The Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS for short, consists of four powerful survey telescopes strategically placed around the world. Their job? To scan the entire sky multiple times every night, looking for potentially dangerous asteroids that might threaten Earth. But on the night of July 1st, they caught something far more extraordinary. The Atlas Telescope in Rio Hurtado, Chile, flagged an object that didn't match any known asteroid or comet. Within hours, amateur astronomer Sam Dean started digging through archived observations and found something incredible. This object had actually been photographed before the official discovery, going all the way back to June 14, 2025. It had been hiding in plain sight, passing in front of the dense star fields of the galactic center, where it was nearly impossible to distinguish from the countless stars in the background. But here's where it gets really interesting. When astronomers started calculating its trajectory, they realized this object wasn't following a normal elliptical orbit around the sun like comets and asteroids born in our solar system. Instead, it was on what's called a hyperbolic trajectory, essentially a path that would carry it right through our solar system and back out into interstellar space, never to return. The orbital eccentricity, that's the measurement of how elongated an orbit is, was calculated at 6.141. To put that in perspective, anything with an eccentricity above one is unbound from the sun's gravity. This number was so high that it made the object's path appear almost completely straight like an arrow shooting through space. This was higher than both previous interstellar visitors. Umamua's eccentricity was 1.2, and Comet 2 I slash Borisov's was 3.4. By July 2nd, observatories including the Deep Random Survey in Chile, the Lowell Discovery Telescope in Arizona, and the Canada-France-Hawaii Telescope at Mauna Kea all confirmed something crucial. This object had a visible coma, that fuzzy cloud of gas and dust that surrounds active comets, and what looked like a potential tail. This was a comet, not an asteroid, and it was from another star system. Now let's talk about the timeline that everyone's been asking about. When is 3I slash ATLAS reaching its critical milestones? NASA has confirmed that 3I slash ATLAS is making its closest approach to Mars. At precisely 4 UTC on October 3rd, the comet will pass within approximately 18 million miles of the red planet. Now, I know what you're thinking. 18 million miles sounds like a huge distance, but in cosmic terms, this is incredibly close. This is the closest 3I slash ATLAS will come to any planet during its journey through our solar system. And here's the exciting part. Both NASA and the European Space Agency have coordinated their Mars orbiters to observe this event. The European Space Agency's Mars Express and ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, along with NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, 
are all turning their instruments toward this interstellar visitor. Even the Perseverance and Curiosity rovers on Mars' surface will attempt observations. This is a historic moment. Multiple spacecraft studying an interstellar object from another vantage point in the solar system. The comet will pass approximately 1.36 astronomical units from our star. That's about 126 million miles, placing it just inside the orbit of Mars. At this point, 3I slash ATLAS will be traveling at its maximum velocity of 42 miles per second. That's fast enough to travel from New York to Los Angeles in less than a minute. But here's the frustrating part. From Earth's perspective, the comet will be on the other side of the Sun during this close approach. We won't be able to observe it directly from Earth-based telescopes. The Sun's glare will completely obscure it. Yeah, it's like trying to spot a candle flame while staring directly at a stadium floodlight. Okay, so we've established that 3I slash ATLAS is an interstellar comet racing through our solar system. But what makes this discovery so incredibly significant? Why are scientists around the world so excited about this? First, let's talk about speed. 3I slash ATLAS is the fastest comet ever recorded entering our solar system. When it was discovered in July, it was already traveling at approximately 137,000 miles per hour. That's 221,000 kilometers per hour, or about 61 kilometers per hour per second, relative to our solar system. As it approaches the sun, it's accelerating even more. To put this in perspective, that's roughly 180 times faster than a speeding bullet. This extreme velocity tells us something profound. This object has been traveling through interstellar space for an incredibly long time. University of Oxford astronomer Matthew Hopkins analyzed its trajectory and composition, and his conclusion was staggering. 3I slash ATLAS might be more than 7 billion years old. That means this comet could predate our entire solar system by more than 3 billion years. It's older than Earth, older than the Sun, possibly older than any object in our cosmic neighborhood. This isn't just a visitor from another star system, it's a time capsule from the ancient universe. Second, this is only the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected passing through our solar system in recorded history. Third, 3I slash ATLAS has some absolutely fascinating compositional quirks that are puzzling scientists. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope observed the comet on August 6th, and the results were surprising. The telescope's near-infrared spectrograph revealed that 3I slash ATLAS is wrapped in carbon dioxide fog, and it's unusually rich in carbon dioxide compared to typical comets. Here's why that's weird. Most comets in our solar system are primarily composed of water ice, with carbon dioxide as a secondary component. But 3I slash ATLAS appears to be dominated by carbon dioxide ice, what we commonly call dry ice. This suggests that the star system where this comet formed might have been dramatically different from our own solar system. Perhaps it was much richer in carbon dioxide, or perhaps unusual radiation processes stripped away other volatile compounds, leaving behind mostly CO2. The Webb observations also detected small amounts of water ice, water vapor, carbon monoxide, and carbonyl sulfide being released as the comet heats up. Meanwhile, observations from the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile found that 3I slash ATLAS is emitting cyanide gas and atomic nickel vapor at concentrations similar to those seen in solar system comets. This composition is providing scientists with indirect clues about planet formation in other star systems. By understanding what 3I slash ATLAS is made of, we can infer the conditions in its parent star system billions of years ago. Fourth, there's been intense debate about the actual size of 3I slash ATLAS's nucleus, the solid core of the comet beneath all that gas and dust. This has been surprisingly difficult to pin down. Initial estimates suggested the nucleus could be as large as 20 kilometers in diameter, 
making it significantly larger than previous interstellar visitors. But as better observations came in, that number kept dropping. By late July, using data from the new Vera C. Rubin Observatory, the estimate came down to about 10 kilometers. Then, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope took the sharpest images yet on July 21st, revealing a teardrop-shaped cocoon of dust streaming off the nucleus. The latest analysis from Hubble observations as of August 20th places the nucleus diameter somewhere between 440 meters and 5.6 kilometers. That's 1,444 feet to 3.5 miles. The most likely size? Probably less than one kilometer across. But here's where it gets controversial. Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb published research suggesting that 3i slash ATLAS might be anomalously massive, weighing around 33 billion tons. His team analyzed the comet's trajectory and found that despite significant outgassing, the object shows very little non-gravitational acceleration. Normally, when a comet releases gas and dust, it acts like a tiny rocket engine, okay, slightly changing the comet's trajectory. But 3i slash ATLAS barely budges, suggesting its nucleus might be extremely massive and resistant to these forces. If Loeb is right, and 3i slash ATLAS is indeed a 20-kilometer rock, then we have a serious problem. The reservoir of rocky material in interstellar space shouldn't be able to deliver such a large object to our solar system. Such objects should only arrive once every 10,000 years or so. Yet this has led to speculation about whether 3i slash ATLAS is truly natural, though NASA's lead scientist for solar system small bodies, Tom Statler, has firmly stated that the evidence is overwhelmingly pointing to this object being a natural body. Now, let's address something that's been circulating in the astronomical community and causing some confusion. Is 3i slash ATLAS actually a comet? Or could it be something else? The vast majority of astronomers, and NASA officially, classify 3i slash ATLAS as a comet. Hubble Space Telescope images clearly show a teardrop-shaped dust plume ejected from the sun-warmed side of the object and the hint of a tail streaming away from its nucleus. This is textbook cometary behavior. The object has been exhibiting cometary activity since at least May 7, 2025, two months before its official discovery, when it was roughly 6.4 astronomical units from the sun. NASA's TESS satellite caught it outgassing even at that distance. Spectroscopic observations have detected emissions of cyanogen, diatomic carbon, and triatomic carbon, all typical cometary gases. However, and this is where it gets interesting, there is legitimate scientific debate about whether 3i slash ATLAS is a typical comet. Harvard's Avi Loeb has published papers arguing that the dust release from 3i slash ATLAS doesn't necessarily prove it's a comet in the traditional sense. Loeb's conclusion, the dust plume might not make it a comet in the traditional sense. It could be more like a rocky asteroid that's accumulated and is now releasing dust that formed on its surface over billions of years of interstellar travel. However, it's crucial to emphasize. This is a minority view in the scientific community. NASA and most astronomers studying 3i slash ATLAS maintain that it is a comet. As Tom Statler stated, it looks like a comet. It does comet things. It very, very strongly resembles in just about every way the comets that we know. The beauty of science is that debate and disagreement drive better observations and deeper understanding. Whether 3i slash ATLAS is a pure comet or something more unusual, it's teaching us that interstellar objects might be more diverse than we thought. One of the most tantalizing questions about 3i slash ATLAS is, where did it come from? We know the general direction, tracing its trajectory backward through space. Astronomers have determined that 3i slash ATLAS originated from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius, near the Milky Way's galactic center. 
and 3i slash ATLAS just happened to drift past our shores exactly when we had developed the technology to recognize it for what it is. So, what do you think? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.